Welcome to Explore the Way. In this video, I am going to explain how to write VHDL code for XOR gate. This is the symbol of XOR gate. It has two inputs AB and one output Y which is equal to XOR of the two inputs AB. And if you see the functionality of XOR gate or any logic circuit can be described by using true table. XOR gate produces output 0 when the inputs are same. And the XOR gate produces output 1 when the inputs are different. This is the functionality of XOR gate. Now we need to describe this XOR gate using hardware description language VHDL. VHDL code consists of three parts. First one library declaration. VHDL is one of the IEEE standard. We are using IEEE library. From the IEEE library we are using standard logic package. Use IEEE dot standard logic. Its standard number is 1164.all. And then second part is entity. Entity shows only primary inputs and primary outputs of any logic circuit. This logic circuit consists of two inputs and one output. These three are declared in the entity. Now entity. Now write the entity name. I am writing the entity name as XOR gate. is port open bracket here we can declare the inputs a b inputs of mode in and its type is standard logic and coming to y y is the output of type standard logic you can close the bracket and put semicolon. And then end the entity. End. The entity name is XOR gate. And the next part is architecture. Architecture. We are writing this architecture in data flow style. That's why we can write architecture name as data flow of XOR gate is begin output is assigned output y is assigned a XOR b XOR is the VHDL operator and this statement is the concurrent assignment statement in data flow style we use concurrent assignment statements and VHDL operators. Then end the architecture with end write the architecture name. This is the architecture of XOR gate in data flow style. Then how to write the architecture in behavioral style. We can be describe the behavior of any logic circuit in any one of the three modeling styles. That may be data flow behavioral or structural but for all these cases library part and entity these parts are same only architecture will be changed now i will write the same xor gate in behavioral style also let us analyze the behavior of xor gate here when the inputs are same if the inputs are same output is zero when the inputs are not equal, output is 1. This is the behavior. Now we will write the behavior, this behavior in behavioral style. I am 
writing only architecture because library and entity are same. Coming to the architecture. Begin. In behavioral style, the complete description you should write in process statement. So write the process. And here within bracket write the inputs. Now begin. We will write the, this behavior. If A is not equal to B. Then the output is 1. We will write the same. If A is not equal to B. Then output is assigned 1. Else. Output is assigned 0. That's all. Now end the if statement. Now and then end the process statement. End the architecture. This is the behavior of XOR gate. If this content is useful, please like, share and subscribe for more videos like this.